Welcome back to my walkthrough for Resident Evil Remastered, my friends. I'm playing on hard difficulty as Chris, as most of you know by now. And in this chapter we are going to clear out the residence. It's a lot faster to clear the residence with Chris than it is with Chill, because we won't have to prepare the vigil to destroy Plan 42. We will have to battle Plan 42, however. But we only need about 5 to 6 magnum shots to finish off the plan, so it won't be too troublesome. We're going to start by picking up the red book in here, it's right here, there's also a first aid box, but I don't need it since this is a no damage run, but if you want you can pick it up and we can quickly leave this area before the spider has time to do anything. And now what we're going to do is drag this crate right here and cover the hole on the floor so that we can create a bridge of sorts to cross to the other side. You see, if we try to pass this area, then there's going to be a vine that comes from the floor and that will damage Chris. So we don't want that, of course. So we're going to start by collecting a key so that we can visit a room where we will obtain the control panel key which will grant us access to the underground floor of the residence to the control room floor of the residence let's just start by heading through this room And did you hear that door? That means that the zombie just walked inside the room and if we stay here too long the zombie will enter the bathroom. Yeah, the zombie has no concept of what privacy might mean. If Chris was doing number two, well that would be embarrassing really, but that didn't happen and we can just step out and shoot the zombie in the head and it will blow up his head. That's why I kept my shotgun with that one single shell inside so that I could dispose of that zombie and aside from that zom zombie the only enemy that we need to battle in the residence is Plan 42 now so I am going to dispose of my shotgun plus we're about to collect a better shotgun, the assault shotgun. So the regular shotgun has just became useless. Let's pick up the control room key now and we can quickly leave this area before the zombies get up in this room and again it's pointless to fight the zombies in this room because they won't be standing in your way so you can just escape and save up a little bit of ammunition which you will need to do especially on our difficulty. At this point we are still in a stage where we don't have a lot of ammunition even though we are going to be obtaining a new gun and that's going to make our life a little bit easier. So let me replace the shotgun with the magnum since I will need the magnum to take care of plan 42. And these are all the objects that I need right now so let's get out and let's head to the ground floor. We have the control room key so we have everything that we need to advance the game. Like I said with Chris we spend a lot of we spend a lot less time in the residence because Chris can't mix the vigil. There is a way to make Rebecca prepare the vigil, but you have to let Chris uh, you have to let Richard die and don't give him the serum, I believe. However, like I said, it only takes five Magnum bullets to finish off Plan 42. So it's pointless to have Rebecca prepare the vigil, plus 
Even if Rebecca prepares the vigil, it won't kill the plant in Chris's scenario. So Chris will always have to battle the plant. So I would say that it is a waste of time and it's ultimately not worth it. But yeah, Chris can prepare the vigil because he can't do basic math. And because really all that you need to, you don't need to be a chemist to prepare the vigil at all. You just need to do basic addition and you'll be fine, but that concept transcends Chris a little bit, so... But we're going to start by dragging these crates to create a bridge so that we can cross to the other side. And after that we will have to move fast because this area can be a little bit tricky. Especially for a no damage run since we are about to be confronted by Neptune and her friends and we do need to be careful because if we don't move fast enough then we might get beaten and obviously we don't want that. Let's cross to the other side now and here we go. Wish me luck for this part. Richard! Richard. Yep, so this is how poor Richard dies in Chris's scenario if you gave him the serum. Once again he saves Chris, but he didn't have a very glorious death unfortunately. I feel so bad for poor Richard. But if you want to avoid the, the likelihood of the sharks biting you, then run close to the railing and if you do that then the sharks will be less likely to attack you. I can't guarantee 100% that they won't try and bite you, but trust me, you'll have a higher chance of escaping this area without suffering any damage whatsoever. So now in here we're going to check this board here which tells us that we need to press valve number 2. Remember that in your walkthrough, if you're playing the game, it might be a different valve for you. So keep that in mind. And now we're going to attempt to drain the water. But Neptune isn't going to make our life easier. So what we need to do here is press the valve right here. And now we're going to quickly turn around and press this handle. And when we do that, the windows will come down, but that won't work. And that's why we need to restore oil pressure. And we know that we need to press valve number two. So select valve number two here. If it's the same valve, like I said, in your game, it might be a different valve. And oh goodness, Neptune isn't making our life easier. So let's once again repeat the process, release the safety, and now turn around and press the handle here and now we are safe and we can finally drain the water and that's that but yeah like i was saying I, I feel so bad for poor richard i really do i wish there was a way that we could keep him alive in this game i mean in jill's scenario he sacrifices himself to save jill from the giant snake in here he saves chris from neptune but both his deaths are really brutal and I don't quite know how we reach this area to be honest. Pick up the magnum bullets here and this is only for hard difficulty. If you are playing on normal or the easier difficulties there's going to be a few shotgun shells at the back of that room and the magnum bullets are going to be in another area that I'll mention in a little bit. And in here we can find 
Richard's assault shotgun. It still works even though it was underwater. And that's why I told you that the standard shotgun would become useless by now because Richard's shotgun is a lot better. We're going to fry Neptune now. We're going to We're going to push this panel into the water and now we're going to kill off Neptune. Really we're taking it out of its misery because it wouldn't have survived for long anyway. And but like I was saying, the assault shotgun that Richard has is better than the standard shotgun. It's a better mid-range weapon, it carries more bullets and it also has a higher chance of decapitation on the regular zombies so I would say that you should stick with it instead. And now we can leave this area. We Poor Richard was swollen, he's probably inside one of those sharks but yeah. There's no point in me asking if he's inside because I thought he might have survived being swollen whole by the snake but he was probably broken in half by the shark so he's probably not alive after that. But like I was saying in normal difficulty the crates that I just passed that's where the magnum bullets are going to be for Chris and Jill. So we can unlock this door and now all that we need to do is take care of plan 42. We have the gallery key which will grant us access to another area of the residence. And after that all that we need to do is collect the pesticide, kill off the annoying bees flying around and we'll be good to go. And plan 42 surprisingly is actually pretty easy to defeat. I I think it's a lot harder to defeat Plan 42 in the original game. At least I had more problems against the plant at the time. So we don't need the key anymore, so we can discard it. And let's go get that pesticide. Oh my. Do be careful though, because the bees can sting you, so you need to move fast. And this guy. I don't know why I didn't use the insecticide spray, he would have killed off the bees, but I guess they didn't give him enough time to use them. Since the last survivors in the mansion died like over a month ago before the stars team arrives, I'm surprised that that body uh, still looks like it died fairly recently. But I guess that's one of the details that we're supposed to ignore. Dude's face is swollen like hell though. I'm sure he's allergic to bees. Reminds me of that Nicolas Cage movie. This guy was probably like, not the bees, not the bees, oh my god, not the bees. And yeah, probably the best line Nicolas Cage has ever delivered in a movie, no doubt. <laughs> but we're going to use the residence key here, we don't need it anymore. Don't forget to bring the red book with you and we will be able to reach the area where Plant 42 is. In the bathroom of this room there isn't anything, so don't bother going there. And let's just replace the red book. Let's just place the red book here, now we need to align the books in order. There we go. The that opens the room to plan 42. Prepare your magnum and let's do this. It's botany class time.
Okay, quickly turn around and climb up the steps here and align your shot and fire three shots and you'll see that Plant 42 is already weakened and now it's going to drop some acid but we're out of range and I shouldn't have fired this shot. I just wasted a bullet and I shouldn't have done that. But we're going to wait for it to stop dropping the acid and as soon as you hear it starting to open up again start firing once again and like as you saw it took 5 shots I fired an additional shot which I shouldn't have that was my mistake but nonetheless as you see plant 42 well that was kind of a joke actually but let's collect the helmet key which is what we came here to do too bad for him we got to the root of the problem hey guys I'm sure some of you get that reference. <gasps> oh, you scared me. You okay? Yeah, it's dead. But... Richard... He's... Gone. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I should have watched out for him. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll be there. I'm glad you're still okay. As you can see, Rebecca is clearly sad, so we're going to, you know, try and make her feel a little bit better. This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. Want me to treat your wounds? Yeah, would you? Thanks. Be strong, Rebecca. Yeah, I can understand why she's sad. I mean, I'm sad that poor Richard died as well. Like I said, if there was any way that we could keep him alive, I would certainly save him as well. But let's step outside and meet our old friend. Wesker? Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Thought you were with her. Yeah, I know. We got separated. I see. Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. Got any suggestions, Wesker? We should get a better grip on the situation. There must be areas still to be explored in that other mansion. Chris, I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. Boy, Chris, you sure are a good yes man, aren't you? I mean, <laughs> if I was in this situation, I would have been pissed for the simple fact that, you know, I killed zombies, battled sharks, battled a giant plant, and in the meantime, Wesker is killing poor innocent bees who really haven't done anything wrong. But, oh well. But anyway, my friends, this is going to conclude this segment. In the next part, we're going to head back to the mansion and clear it out. Thank you for patiently waiting for the release of this episode. I promise the next episode is going to take less time to upload. And as always, thank you for, for your support, for all the comments and likes. It really means a lot to me. So I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you all later. Take care.